Greetings, dear viewer. If you're tuning in to this station, it means you're here to watch our hero, Stuttering Mania, in his quest for TF2 achievements. These require you to complete specific tasks, such as run 25 kilometers as Scout, get 10 kills with one sentry gun, or stab three players within 10 seconds. Truly, only a master of the game could collect them all, but how will our hero fare? Watch on to find out. Alright folks, it's time. I've always wanted to be an elite engineer. And now, now I'm going for the big one. I'm going to complete the list and obtain the last remaining achievements for engineer. I've got six left, and these might take me as long as all the others put together. First on the list is building block. Have a sentry shielded by the wrangler absorb 500 damage without being destroyed. Sounds easy enough. After all, a sentry's effective health is 648 when using the wrangler, so... What's that? It doesn't count effective health? It counts actual building health? Oh. Oh. That makes things more complicated. For some reason, my first strategy was to use mini sentries. Needless to say, this failed, and even when I got kills, it failed harder. After only a few short rounds, I swapped to the Jag, working under the assumption that if my sentry did go down, I could have a level 3 up and running again much faster. And I did. Again. And again. And again. My sentry just kept blowing up. No matter what I tried, I just couldn't keep it alive long enough to outlast 500 damage. I switched to the rescue ranger, hoping I could heal my sentry from more of a distance, and guess what? That failed. Attack? Defense? None of it mattered. And of course spies wouldn't leave me alone. The obsessive freaks practically salivate when they see a wrangled sentry and an oblivious engineer trying to focus down a sniper in the distance with his stupid little TV remote. Where's my pistola? But then, just as I was about to despair, inspiration struck. Payload is way too chaotic and open for any sentry gun to survive for long unless you're at the last point, and even then it's guaranteed to be destroyed at some point. But do you know where sentries are almost immortal? Capture the flag! That's right, not only are we going to the worst game mode in TF2, we're going to the worst map for the worst game mode in TF2. Friends, countrymen, we are going to the closed off, madness inducing, non-Euclidean space of Turbine. This map is a one-to-one -one representation of Gehenna, a gray box full of tight corridors and winding vents, an awfully designed map where no class can truly have fun. The people who play here are strange, and I'm hoping I can come out of this with my sanity intact. To start with, I decided to ditch the Jag and equip my new favorite, the Southern Hospitality. The Jag's downside of healing less per swing is just too crippling for actually maintaining a sentry. It hardly matters when you're frontier justicing, since you want your sentry to go down at some point to get those crits, but that's not our plan today. My first strategy was to set up in the vents, a place so claustrophobic that taunting lets you see through the walls of reality and into the other space. Like many characters in many science fiction thriller movies, I established my pitiful little base in a truly inhospitable cavern, and you could probably already see the flaw in my sentry's positioning. I got a few kills, I mean I don't exactly want to brag about it since an enemy's only option when faced with a 
a wrangled century in a space this tight is to die. But in time, a devil man came along and gave me what I deserved. I adjusted to put my sentry at the top of this stairwell, hoping Delmen would be tempted to toss arcing grenades upward to hit my sentry, damaging it without actually killing it. To this end, I equipped the rescue ranger to give myself more flexibility, and plopped my dispenser at the entrance to the vents to keep whatever love crafty and monsters lurk within at bay. This almost worked. The enemy team had several demos who were chomping at the bit to blow my stuff to smithereens, and I was able to giga tank my gun for a while with the help of another engineer. But like all tragedies, my plan was doomed to fail from the get-go. There was just too much fire coming at it to keep the gun or myself alive, and inevitably it all came to ruin. Welp, time to set up somewhere else. I decided to put my sentry in the sentry spot, which on Turbine is here on this strange ledge that can only be accessed by crouch jumping onto this little cart. Architecturally, it has no rhyme or reason, seeming less like a real building in which people might work, and more like a literal uncanny valley. And this worked way beyond expectations. My gun turned into a meat grinder, the red team fruitlessly throwing themselves at it one by one, my kill count racking up higher and higher, but I was still not making progress. The enemy was dying so fast that they couldn't even scratch my sentry, entirely defeating the purpose of obtaining the achievement which you could only get by keeping your gun alive through immense damage. I don't... Oh, it's a baby engineer. Look at him. Oh no, he doesn't know how to crouch jump. Watch, do it like this. Yes! Fast learner over here! Watching new players is always fascinating. Oh! He even knows not to put his sentry too close to mine! This guy's gonna go far, I can tell. Now that he knows how to crouch jump, his chains are off! Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah! Building block! Alright, you hold down the fort, new guy. I'm gonna go play like an idiot. I plop a sentry right in front of their spawn and actually bring my streak up to 11 before dying horribly. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna put my sentry base inside their base. What are they gonna do? Stop me? What could they possibly- Oh my! That is the entire red team! This guy's got the homewrecker! He's a genius! I can't compete with this! I only have 19 health! How did I kill two of them with this little BB gun? I'll never know. Many more things happened, but none of them were good. I have to leave. I have to go somewhere else. This map is driving me insane. Not a capture the flag map, no. I think the only real shot I have at this achievement is to go where explosive spam is guaranteed. Yeah, it's just bull. Let's go. Oh, what? Offense? Oh well, I like a challenge. Did St. George wimp out when he needed to slay the dragon? He did not. And neither will I. This achievement is my dragon, and Dust Bowl is the arena in which I will slay it. But not right now. I didn't really do anything on the first round, and my team capped the point very quickly without my help. Okay, cool. Dust Bowl, stage three. This is the map I was thinking of. It's one of the very first maps ever added to TF2, and it attracts soldiers, heavies, and demo men like nothing else. Not only that, but capping the first point gives us 20 minutes to cap the second one. I think Valve understands how tough Dust Bowl offense can be. Now, are you ready to see the biggest brain play of all time? Watch this! The Rescue Rangers teleport isn't just for saving your gear, you gotta think BIG! This makeshift bunker lasted a long time, especially since a heavy joined me and used my dispenser to just permanently spam bullets down the choke point, but it was no use. There was just too much pressure here, so I revamped my strategy and set up in this tiny little hallway. Now it's Dust Bowl. There's nowhere I can go that won't have enemies in abundance, but the majority of them are clustered up here, leaving only a few that will attempt to watch this area. So I get set up and hunker down, using my laser pointer to draw enemies in. I often stop firing the sentry gun and just let them damage it for a while before 
or yoinking it with the rescue ranger and carrying it out of the tunnel, sweating bullets because carrying buildings with the rescue ranger marks you for death. I repeat this process several times, wrangling, healing, yoinking, healing, redeploying, wondering how much longer this game is going to last until finally a pyro comes along and puts me out of my misery. And the moment my sentry goes down... Oh yes! Finally! It's over! It's actually over! I got building block! One down, six to go. I'm sure these ones will be much easier to obtain. I'm just, I'm sure of it. Let's go. Next up are Rio Grind and Circle the Wagons. These two are very similar and can be worked towards simultaneously. Circle the Wagons is an achievement for repairing 50,000 total damage to friendly engineers' buildings. Over the course of playing TF2 for several years, I've already gotten most of the way there. Rio Grind is a touch harder because it relies purely on luck. You have to perform 50 repairs or reloads on sentries being wrangled by another engineer. In other words, I have to hope that not only does someone else on my team pick engineer, I also have to hope that they'll be using the Wrangler. The good news is, I don't have to do anything nearly as specific as before. I just have to play as normal, and if I see an engineer's building that isn't mine taking damage, I have to whack it. I don't know if I was just getting unlucky, but on the rare occasions my team did have another engineer, I didn't often get the opportunity to repair his stuff. I just started messing around, using the rescue ranger with mini sentries because the loadout seemed funny to me, and maybe I stayed up a bit later than was wise because I started to feel pretty out of it. What? What's happening right now? Are you guys seeing what I'm getting away with? I'm spawn camping red with minis and the rescue ranger, and it's not because my team is here. I was doing this solo for a bit before they showed up and I started recording. This loadout was a joke. It's not supposed to work. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, now he's dead the same way. What's going on? Okay, okay. I've had a full night's sleep, and now I can test this loadout properly. I'm sure last night was a total fluke, and WHAT?! This loadout is the definition of anti-synergy! How is it this powerful?! Oh look! A bot! DESTROYED! This is not how you're supposed to play Engineer. Why is this working? I feel like I'm in Wacky Town right now. Setting that aside, to get these two achievements, I only needed to get a really good payload defense match with multiple Engineers. And on Upward, I found it. The cart had been pushed all the way to last, and there were already several Engineers running around wrangling sentries. I dedicated myself to punching their buildings as hard as I could, and... it worked! Rio Grind went down first, and then Circle the Wagons was slain just a few moments later. Okay, the two simplest ones are out of the way, as well as the hardest one. Three more. I just need to destroy 50 sticky bombs in range of friendly buildings, keep a heavy heal through five kills with a dispenser, and kill one invisible spy with the Wrangler. Let's go. I decided to focus my energy on Search Engine. Boy oh boy, it was an experience. First of all, killing invisible spies with the Wrangler isn't exactly simple, but more importantly, you have to hope the enemy team has any spies to begin with. Now, this problem can solve itself. If you play Engineer effectively enough, usually somebody will go spy to counter you. Not to mention, spy is a really popular class, so actually running into spies isn't too hard. The problem is that when spies are found out, they often decloak to try and stab you or sap your stuff. It's a rare spy that tries to use cloak to escape before getting any kills. They like to commit to attacking once discovered. But I buckled down and made sure every map I visited had a level 3 nest in a really inconvenient spot, daring those stealthy assassins to come and get me. And then, on bread space, something inconceivable happened. I was set up in this hallway, gunning down dudes, and a spy bumped into me. With enough nervous energy to kill a rhino, I whipped out the wrangler and turned that spy to red paste, and... Nothing. No achievement. Huh. I was so sure he was invisible. Maybe he decloaked at the very last second? That's a total bummer. No problem, however. I was not deterred. I did it once, I just have to keep playing and I will surely get my chance again. Some maps I just got rolled over by demos and soldiers, no spies required. There was one really awesome moment where I saw a spy coming and obliterated him with the Wrangler. Sadly he was uncloaked so nothing happened, I just wanted to immortalize that moment. Once again, I decided my salvation would lie on Dust Bowl. I don't know why, but this map just has this power over me. I keep coming back. The first round we were just destroyed, but then on the second stage, the teams were small. 
wall. I was set up on last and there were two spies intent on harassing me and only me. This is perfect. This is literally the perfect situation to get this achievement. Every time there was a hint of movement, I recklessly sprayed gunfire in all directions until my sentry ran out of ammo and the spies tortured me with constant decloak sounds and revolver pot shots. The only time I actually killed one of them with the Wrangler was when he was uncloaked. I fought hard and did kill them a few times, but never under the specific conditions required to get the achievement. <sighs> Moving on to stage three. I don't want to give up. I'm so close. I can smell it. I kept doing my thing, spraying and praying with the Wrangler whenever I smelled baguettes, my team doing their best to keep the spies off of me. I noticed a blue shimmer going near my buildings and began firing frantically in all directions, determined to catch him. There! On top of my dispenser! I knew moving it there would attract him. That dispenser spot is baked! Come on! Yes! Yes! What? What the hell happened? You saw it. That was it. Clear as day. No ifs, ands, or buts. He was 100% invisible. I killed him with the Wrangler and no achievement. What? I don't... Why? Ah, oh, great. Auto balance in the last seconds of the round. Wonderful. I have to know what's going on. Is there some hidden requirement I'm not fulfilling? I mean, I got it, but I didn't get it. And I don't get it. What's going on here? Heading over to the wiki, I was faced with some terrible news. Certain engineer achievements are bugged and will not be awarded unless you're in a server with a server number of one. What? Server number can be checked by entering... What? So in other words, I got the achievement fair and square, but the game just won't give it to me unless I do it again in the correct server, which I can't know beforehand if I'm in the correct server? I even tried brute forcing it by playing in an empty server with spy bots, and even that didn't work. I was so desperate I resorted to fighting bots with the Wrangler and it failed me. At least I got my vengeance on those fickle Frenchmen. But is this it? Does it all end here? No. No, 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 you all saw it. There is no plausible deniability. It's not like he decloaked at the last second. I got it. I got the achievement. I'm crossing this one off the list. I've killed more than enough invisible spies to obtain the achievement. This one is mine. I suffered for this. Moving on. Now I only have two achievements left. Destroy 50 sticky bombs nearby friendly buildings and heal a heavy with my dispenser while he obtains five kills. No problem. Sticky bombs aren't too hard to come by when playing engineer, so long as I'm fast. What's that? You can't use a short circuit? You have to use other weapons? Huh, okay, that makes it more difficult, but still doable. I mean, if I play enough engineer, it should just happen on its own, right? This one is hard to go for intentionally. You have to hope the enemy team has a demo man and also hope that the demo man does not immediately detonate each sticky bomb he fires. Yeah, that's gonna take a while, but I can work on the heavy achievement really easily. I just need a willing teammate, and you know what? I think I have one. This one was another exercise in frustration. I have never until this point realized just how vulnerable the dispenser is. It feels like the thing is made out of paper. Dang it. No. Come on. Oh, mother I was feeling frustrated. It's one thing to hire a friend to play heavy and just never unrev the minigun while surgically attached to your dispenser, but it's another level of difficulty entirely to protect that little box from spies, demo men, and worst of all, soldiers. Here's the thing, it's not enough for the heavy to get 5 kills while near your dispenser. The heal beam of the dispenser needs to remain attached to the heavy for the entire time. So if it gets sapped, even if I knock the sapper off, the counter resets. If it gets destroyed, the counter resets. If the heavy dies or gets moved off of the dispenser for even a millisecond, the counter resets. Personally, the one I thought would be the easiest to get was turning out to be the hardest. The good news is that through playing enough TF2, I eventually got halfway towards completing the Sticky Bomb achievement. But destroying Sticky Bombs without the short circuit in the milliseconds it lies next to a building before it's detonated? Yeah, that one might take years. My frustration with this challenge was building. For months, the video has sat half completed on my hard drive, unfinished for so long that I actually moved to a new house in real life. What do I do? I gotta make this happen. I put in so much effort, but so much is out of my control. These achievements require so much luck. Finally, my friends, I could take no more. The weight of trying to get these achievements had crushed me. So I called a friend of mine, found an empty server, and he promised to help me get these achievements. Now, it may seem like cheating doing it this way, but he insisted on making it difficult for me so it wouldn't be cheap. He went demo men, I put down a dispenser, and he relentlessly spammed stickies at it while I attempted to shoot them before he could explode them. He gets some sticky spam practice, which he sorely needs, dude's addicted to pipes, and I got progress towards the achievement. Doing it this way took a long time, especially since he noticed how annoyed I was and began... being himself. <laughs> Ooh, grenade! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Ooh, scary. But finally, I did it. Next, I decided to slay Search Engine once and for all. This achievement is rightfully mine. I fulfilled the requirements ten times over by now. Just give it to me, game. Next to the bomb. Yes, mine. I win. Now there's just one last thing to do. At this point, it was almost three o'clock in the morning. We had stayed up far, far too late to keep this going, so I went to a community server filled with training bots. He equipped the brass beast, and after a few false starts, easy. I now have every engineer achievement, and I can honestly say I earned them fair and square, except maybe the heavy one. I don't know. I started this journey over a year ago with a quest to be an elite engineer, but now? I'm just happy it's finally over. Do I qualify as elite? Having used such unorthodox methods to obtain some of these achievements, I'm sure there are doubts. Let me know what you think in the comments. For now, I've got my sights set on a different prize, but that'll have to wait until the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get out. Video's over.